folks, I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome to Look Back. This is where we go back a year, five years, and ten years ago, and I tell you what I think about the games I reviewed then. We'll start with last year. This week, I took a look at Naruto Shippuden. Probably mispronouncing that. It's based on a very popular anime program. I don't have any connection to that, so I don't know much about that part of it, but I do know that the game itself kind of said, go here, do this, go here. It was very kind of scripted, but at the same time, fairly random. Wasn't a big fan. Krakatoa is a weird game that almost I liked. You'll see, you see by the rating, it's 12-sided dice that you're rolling. Some volcano theme, whatever. 12-sided dice, and you're using combinations of those dice to get points, almost Yahtzee style, and you can knock the other dice. Kind of weird mathematical conception, but just falls short. Anaxi is a party game where you're placing like a Venn diagram down and trying to pick items of that. Very, very interesting idea. Been done by several games. This one does it in a very simple, easy fashion. Burano, this is a game that I'm enjoying more. Uh, it's a very beautiful game based on, on the city of Burano. But as you're, it's kind of a typical go and do different actions at different spots. But then you get to build these, this three-dimensional board. But it has a nice, it's a heavier type game, but works really, really well. America, this was the, uh, one of the follow-ups to uh, Fauna and Terra, a game where they ask you trivia questions and you have no idea, so you can guess uh, on them, but also if you're close, you're correct. I like that concept. And this one, you could also guess how badly someone else did or how well other people did. Added a little bit more to the game. I enjoyed it. Burger Up. I do like burgers a lot. This game lets you make cool burgers. It's a simple game as you're building burgers up and then scoring these burgers, trying to score specific burgers. A lot of fun in this very simple game. Codenames Pictures, I enjoyed. Uh, probably a little bit more than Codenames itself. I think I like the picture idea better than the words. I think they're both very good, but the pictures was a pretty neat idea, and it's essentially the same game with pictures. Ascension, War of Shadows. I'm a big fan of this particular set. I don't know if it's my favorite Ascension set, but it's pretty close. I like the dark and light thing. Wish we would see more of this aspect as the cards would shift towards light or darkness. A lot of fun. And then Project Elite. Whoa, do I like Project Elite. Yes, the miniatures were not the greatest miniatures at all. It would probably be a 10 if they were. Um, it's a fast game in which you are just going through and rolling dice as quickly as you can, trying to mow down aliens as they try to run by you and get into the, the humans. You're just trying to stop them. So much fun. I also took a look at the alien pack and uh, adrenaline. Alien pack is decent, adds more aliens, which is good, but they're not necessarily. And adrenaline adds more boards and more missions, which I really enjoyed a lot. Um, this game is... Currently out of print, but there are rumors that it might come back in print at some point, so stay tuned. Five years ago, Nocturna. This is kind of a weird game where you're rearranging furniture in a house while there's a ghost creeping around. It's interesting sounding, but the game itself wasn't very fun to play. Lysen is a game that's almost an abstract game with a theme at it. Um, and I dropped this one by a point as time goes by because, first of all, I've totally forgotten the game in five years. Had to go back and watch part of my own review to remind myself. And I look at the component quality and I knocked it a point for that. Starship Merchants also fell down slightly because, again, it's a forgettable type game. Although the, what I, this one I remembered more once I watched a review of it as you are delivering goods, kind of a rondelle type system moving around. Shadow Rift, this one also dropped, but not because it's a bad game. The idea of it was very interesting, a cooperative deck building against kind of these creatures that came in, almost tower defense. It's just that other games have done the job so much better that this one doesn't look as good in comparison at this point. Uh, Empire Express, this is a Cran Rail type game. This is an intro to the system, and that's what it is. It's simple, it's easy if you want to learn how to do this, but at the same time, once you play it, you go, eh, not good enough, I want to play a full one. There you go. Then just get one of the really good ones in the series. There's a whole lot of them. For the Crown, this one has gone up for me. Really enjoy this game, which is a mix between deck building and chess, which sounds awful, but it really does work. It's a lot of fun, and it's extremely thinky. Gangsta. This is a trick-taking game that I'm a big fan of, in which you play, um, as you take the tricks, you, the cards you take, you're going to place into a grid, and how you place cards in a grid will determine how many points you get. So cards have basically a changing value as you take them in tricks, which I find very fascinating. Preda Porter, this is a game that I really enjoy. The theme itself is intriguing as you are like designing dresses. Not something that appeals to me personally, but it's something unique and different. 
as you're going around and designing dresses and different outfits for fashion shows. Very in-depth game. Uh, it was when uh, uh, Portal Games is like at their height of complexity. This one is there, but a good solid game. Coliseum is a game we reviewed five years ago. In fact, that's interesting since they just re-released the Tasty Mints or re-released the game, but man, I love this game. I love the auctions in it. I love the putting shows on. I love the manipulating people on the board. Just a great, solid game. Ten years ago, I looked at Six Generations. Uh, this was a game that had like, it just showed as generations went down. Kind of an interesting historical thing, like a set of cards, and then you could play games with these cards, and they had one game, I think, called Heirs, which was okay, and then I was like, ooh, maybe we'll see other games, and we never really did, so dinging it a point for that. Epic Battle Lore, I liked it. I didn't know if I should knock this down a point, because I know I'm never playing Battle Lore again since Battle Lore Second Edition came out, and it's so much better. And I don't even know that I'll play Epic. The, the new one doesn't have Epic involved, but I don't think it needs it because we got Epic in other games. But it's there. And also, I talked about some factions 10 years ago. Battle Lore was cool. It was great. But Battle Lore 2 has replaced it. Anyhow, those are my reviews. I did one 5 and 10 years ago. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching Look Back. <laughs>